The next function is called as the reduce function. But please note, we cannot use the reduce function as an inbuilt function as Python. We have to import that from a package called as fun tools. So I'm going to write like this from fun tools import reduce. So once after doing this, we can use the reduce function. Okay, let's assume we have our list one. Okay, in this one comma two comma three comma four five six seven eight nine. Okay, we have items like this. Let me add one more. Now I want to find the sum of all the digits of this list one. Okay, so let me create a function called as sum of digits. Okay, in which sum will be there. Okay, and I'm going to pass the items. Okay, and this is going to return me the value of the sum plus that particular item like this now in the print statement i'm going to use this reduce function okay so the first thing here you have to mention is the function name which you have just created sum of digits okay with no parenthesis it's just the function name then you're going to pass the list one okay then the last condition is the starting value okay or the initialization value of that particular variable sum okay Let's run this program and see, guys. We are going to get the answer as 5. Okay, this sum here actually acts like accumulation of all the sum after each digit. Okay, first it's going to add 1 plus 2 and store the value into sum. Okay, when the next item comes, that is 3, okay, it is going to add the value 3 to this 3 and we can get the answer as 6. So it's going to continue till the last item like that okay so this is how the reduce function can be used to calculate and accumulate the answers at each interval of the digit